part of the strategy or just something that you saw in there? He was really heavy on that left leg. Uh, just something I saw. Uh, he kind of kind of lunge kind of forward and I was like okay so then I started we started off with like exchanging my hands and he stepped forward again and I just threw it and uh kept landing so I kept going back to it I kept watching the replay over and over on the on the last part because it, it looked like it just grazed it and the commentator said that and then one angle I noticed it kind of it looked like it clipped his kneecap is that you think that's where he got hurt or was it on the calf uh honestly I'm not sure I know my foot hurts right now from kicking something and uh uh, yeah, I just you know I'm just trying to land the land my shin wherever it lands, whether it's on the side of the knee, the calf, the leg. Uh, I'm just aiming for that spot. So I you know I'm glad it worked. So um, what matchups are you looking forward to in this division? Because you know looking at the rankings, this is a big jump for you with this win. Big impressive win. It's going to definitely move you up into the top tier. Who are some of the other guys you got your eyes on? Uh, honestly, on everybody. Uh, to be a champion, you got to fight everybody. Doesn't matter if I fight him now or later. Uh, you know, I know Joe, Joe, and uh, Figueroa are gonna fight for the title. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to Fight Island and hopefully be the replacement. I, if I have to, I'll go out there, might fly myself out. Um, I feel I'm next in line. Marino uh, got a split decision win over Flaminga. Uh, Pantoja's book. So I mean, that would just leave me. Uh, so I'm gonna be there, be on weight, and you know, hope, like hopefully they fight. If not. I'll step in, doesn't matter which one. Nice. And uh, in your opinion, who takes that fight in the rematch? Uh, I feel that uh, Davison Figueroa will. Uh, he has too much power, and his jiu-jitsu is a lot better than, when, than what he showed when he fought Jusser. Uh I mean, I thought the first time that was going to be the only chance Joe had, and he surprised me with that armbar. Uh, who knows, it might have been a fluke or not, but I, I just think Davison Figueroa hits a lot harder. I think if Joe can take it to the later rounds, uh, you know, and land punches and kicks and stuff like that. He might be able to pull it off, but uh, Figueroa has that one punch knockout. Alex, right here. Uh, this is the second week in a row where a fighter has finished someone with low kicks. Is, is this something that we should expect a lot more? Like, why is this being utilized a lot more now? Um, I, I think MMA goes through trends. Uh, you know, I mean, it's just one of those things. For a while, it was like the ground and pound. Now it's all stand up. Now it's you know, for a while it's body shots. Now it's leg kicks. I think it's just a trend that everybody goes through. Um, you know, just glad I picked it up. And then in in your post fight interview, we couldn't really hear it back here, but it sounded like you were naming names of people that are no longer with us. Is that uh, right? Yeah. Uh, so my my good friend and training partner Desmond Torres, his dad passed away. Uh, he ended up going home like right on time. Uh, the next couple weeks, he, his dad passed away from a heart attack. Uh, this lady at her gym, her name's Christine. Uh, she works with a, a company called Cenex Wear, and they sponsored me and sponsored all the fighters uh, at the gym and sponsored people in Thailand. And uh, she ended up passing away randomly. Uh, someone called and had the landlord go check in, and she had passed away at her house. And then one of my good friends uh, uh, owns an MMA promotion. They had a sponsor. He, they sponsored me, and then Mario. And uh, his wife was killed in a tragic accident, um, just crazy freak accident, you know. Um, and it's just crazy how 2020s ended up. You know, it's kind of like up and down roller coaster, and uh, you know, it just sucks. I, I'm hoping my victory brings a little, you know, happiness at least for the moment, or lets them forget about what's going on. Is it hard to focus when all that's not, like your what's going on with you and what's going on in the outside world right now? Uh, I do a good job. Once I'm in the gym, I clock in. Uh, I can't think about anything else when I'm in the gym because I got killers after me, uh, guys you guys will know, like Desmond Torres. Um, I got guys like Cheeto Vera pushing me every day. So if I'm off one day, I'm going to get killed in that gym. You know, I got Luis Samoka, Carla, all those guys in there, Robert Hernandez, um, Junior. I got all these guys in there trying to kill me. And, you know, so I, every time I clock into the gym, I kind of leave all my personal life issues outside and kind of just clock in and do, do my thing. And once I'm done, I kind of get back onto it, kind of think about what I have to think about.